How you doing? This is Dave Johnson, The Grill Beast, and today, in the rain, we're growing up or we're smoking some beef short ribs. So we're going to smoke them for a couple hours, and then we're going to braise them in a cast iron Dutch oven. Um, right now, I have the barrel going for probably about 20, 30 minutes. It's up to temp. I have the cast iron Dutch oven inside the smoker, so it's going to be nice and hot when we start to braise our uh, ribs. In the Dutch oven, I have about four cups of beef stock. So that's gonna be um, nice and hot by the time we get to the braising part. Plus, the drippings from the ribs are gonna go into the, the beef stock also. So it's gonna make it a little bit more flavorful, plus it's gonna get the smoky uh, flavor uh, mixed in. So I already cut up our onion. It's just one medium-sized onion, cut up nice and chunky. Uh, you're going to do a couple tablespoons or a couple big spoons of garlic. And today we're using salt and pepper and espresso rub from Lump's Spice Company. It's a small spice company located in New York. Uh, I've gotten to know him a little bit. He makes some great rubs. And so we're going to try his espresso rub out on these ribs. So let's get started. So really you don't normally have to trim much off your ribs, but this one it's kind of got a silver skin on it, so we want to cut that off. Just a nice sharp knife. Leaving fat on is good, but leaving silver skin on is not. You need to look at it good, because see it had silver skin hiding underneath the fat layer here. All right, so right now, keep it nice and simple. It's a little bit of olive oil. Rub it all over. All right, let's uh, do some salt. Some pepper. And put some of Lump's Espresso Rub on each one. All right, so right now everything is, is ready to go in. I'm gonna get my gloves on, because I need to take the top grade off, put the onion, a little bit of olive oil, and the garlic in our braising liquid. Okay, so this is my uh, pit probe right here, just to make sure we're at the right temperatures. It's the hook. Throw in all our onion. That's uh, one little bit bigger, medium sized onion. We'll throw a couple spoonfuls of garlic in there. Now, a lot of that liquid is going to evaporate away, and hopefully, it'll be right at the right depth when we're ready to start braising. In case I didn't already mention it, we're using our Barrel House Smoker which you can find on our website. You can check out what kind of bonuses we give away um, when you get it. I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna stick my, my meat probe so we can kind of keep track of the temperature of that. I'll put that one in the center. And all these are gonna go bone side down Top rack. All right, we're good. All right, so we're gonna let this go for about two hours. When the temperature of the rib gets to about 150, 160, we're gonna take them off the rack and put them down into the braise, meat side down, and then it'll probably go another hour um, inside the cast iron uh, for the braising. You want the meat to get up to about 200 degrees so it's nice and fall off the bone tender. All right, we'll see you in two hours. Go get yourself a couple beers. All right, we have the temperature of our short ribs up to 165, so we want to get them in our braising liquid. 
and finish them off in our Dutch oven. So, but as you can see, while we were waiting, we decided to make ourselves a little snack and made some beastly bacon wrapped onion rings. Check it out on our other video. And uh, look, let's, do, let's get this in the uh, braising liquid so we can get these uh, ribs done. I had this on top of the smoker so when we cover our ribs up in our Dutch oven, so the cast was already warm. We didn't want to put cold cast in there and lower the temperature. Ooh, they were looking good. They're looking good. Let's get rid of this probe here. We don't need that anymore. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that. Um, and actually, let me move these all over to the side. It's kind of one nice thing about the barrel. Great, it's a split grate, so and take half of it out. Now when you put these into braising liquid, you want to put them um, bone side up this time. So we're actually going to do a couple things here. We're going to take and lower the rack because we want the temperature to get up there a little bit. We're going to take this rack out Then we're going to lower this down to the lowest level. We'll put the rack back on. Okay, make sure your rack's back in there good. And put our Dutch oven down all the way down to the low rack. See how everything's in there? Just close that bad boy up. All right, so we got this all closed up. We'll probably let it go for about another hour and a half and uh, we'll check it when, you're gonna know it's done when the meat, if you check the temperature of the meat, uh, the meat's gonna be about 200 degrees. But if you stick uh, a little fork in it and it goes in like butter, uh, you know it's done. So anyway, uh, let's check on it in about an hour and a half. Go have a couple more beers and we'll see you then. All right, we're back. The ribs should be done. We want to pull them out, taste them, see how we did. Get my beast armor on. You can get yourself some of these at grillbeast.com because we sell shit. This bad boy is hot. But I don't feel a thing because I got beast armor on. Pull some of these bad boys out. See how we did. The masterpiece. I honestly do not know which one I want. Oh. Yeah, I do. I want this one. That fell right off. All I can say is they're delicious. They're very tender. That was a great little recipe. The seasoning's awesome. Remember Lumps Spice Rub? He set up a little coupon code. Anybody who watches this video, you put in coupon code BEAST15, you get 15% off of anything in this store. The link will be down below. If you have any questions, Post them in the comments. If you want to see our other videos, subscribe to our channel. If you want a chance to win a t-shirt, apron, or hat, comment below with Beastly Beef Ribs, and we'll let you know who the winner is. Peace out and go grill yourself.